Hello everybody, this is Tyler here once again from the Character Workshop, where I'm making Christmas specials and I'm doing them twice. That's right, I am back with another Christmas-themed episode of It Came From England. Now, just like with the last episode, I was going to make and upload this earlier this month, but because of the whole YouTube and COPA thing, yeah, I had to postpone it, so sorry about that. But yeah, I'm here anyways to talk about something else Christmas-related. So last time I talked about the American-dubbed version of the Thomas and Percy's Christmas Adventure episode. Today, I'm going to be talking about another Christmas episode from another well-known British children's icon, or icons, because they're multiple characters. Today, we're going to be talking about the Mr. Men and Little Miss special, The Christmas Rescue. Now, fun fact, I was going to do a whole episode talking about the Mr. Men and Little Misses in general. I was actually originally going to talk about it last season, and I also originally had that planned for the Season 2 premiere, but because Season 2 of It Came From England premiered around the holiday season, I decided, screw it, let's have the first one or two episodes be Christmas-themed. So, yeah, I might as well give you guys a little um, summary about the Mr. Men and Little Miss, you know, franchise up until this point. So, the Mr. Men originated as a book series that came out in the year 1971, written and illustrated by a guy by the name of Roger Hargreaves. And these books were made because his son, Adam Hargreaves, asked him one day what a tickle looks like. So, Roger Hargreaves drew a picture of what would eventually be the very first Mr. Men character, Mr. Tickle. And after Mr. Tickle, dozens and dozens of more characters were made after him. Three years later, in 1974, the Mr. Men books were adapted into a TV show narrated by Arthur Law, who is best known for being on the BBC TV show, Dad's Army. Ten years after the first Mr. Men book came out, in 1981, Roger Hargreaves made a similar series of books to the Mr. Men, but were women instead, under the name The Little Misses, first starting with Little Miss Bossy, and just like the Mr. Men, several other Little Miss characters were made afterwards. And after 1981, Several other Mr. Men and Little Miss characters were created both by Roger Hargreaves and his son Adam Hargreaves after Roger Hargreaves died in 1988. Two years after the first Little Miss books came out, in 1983, a TV series based on those Little Miss books were made, and they were narrated and voiced by John Alderton and Pauline Collins. John Alderton, of course, was well known as being the male voice actor in Fireman Sam. And now we get to the topic that we're going to be talking about today, which is the Christmas Rescue Special. Now this came out in the early 90s on ITV as a part of their TV AM block, which I'm assuming by that title that means it's their morning block because of the AM. I could be wrong though. Unfortunately, there's not a whole lot of information about this special for me to talk about. So, most of this review is just going to be me talking about the special in question. Now, as you guys already heard in the intro of this episode, the Christmas Rescue special had a very, very, and I mean very, catchy theme song at the very beginning and the credits of the special. Now, as much as I like this music, I will say it's sort of out of place for a Christmas special. I'm gonna assume, uh, this is just my word, uh, don't take it, whatever I said as fact. I'm gonna assume this whole Christmas special was, like, meant to be, I guess, a pilot of a new Mr. Men Little Miss TV series, but more on that later. So the premise of this special is very interesting, because it starts off at a news station, which is broadcasted with, uh, Mr. Clever and Little Miss Star as the anchors, and they both talk about, you know, how everybody in Mr. Land is excited for Christmas alongside Mr. Chatterbox, who is sitting on a sofa nearby in the studio. So then they talk with Mr. Snow, who is live at the North Pole, explaining how Father Christmas is getting ready for Christmas and having his elves, of course, make the toys like they always do. 
However, they later cut to an emergency broadcast from Mr. Nosy, who talks about how Miseryland is not feeling too good about the holidays. And the Queen of Miseryland wants to stop Christmas once and for all. So she summons three knights to go to the North Pole and steal Santa's presents for the children. And what's really funny, she gives the knights like three very clever names. Dark Knight, Stormy Knight, and Starry Knight. And the scene that they're introduced in also has like one of the funniest jokes throughout the whole special. Three villainous and most miserable of knights. Dark Knight, a Stormy Knight, and a Starry Knight. Who's funny of? I don't see any stars. Ooh, yeah, now I do. So as soon as Mr. Clever and Little Miss Star saw that um the Queen of Misery Land is planning on destroying Christmas once and for all, Mr. Clever kind of shrugged off saying, Oh, it'll take more than three nights to spoil our Christmas. So they cut back to the North Pole with Mr. Snow and Father Christmas. However, the knights from Miseryland come in and steal all the presents and locked up the workshop and tied up Mr. Snow, Father Christmas, and the elves. Yeah, definitely um, took quite a turn, I would say. As soon as Mr. Clever and Little Miss Star saw that, they send in their noose chopper in order to stop the situation, which contained Mr. Impossible, Little Miss Magic, Mr. Rush, Mr. Busy, and Mr. Strong. So they all eventually get to the North Pole and break through the workshop. Well, at least Mr. Strong did. And they helped untie Mr. Snow, Father Christmas, and the elves. And at first they were all worried about, oh no, we're not going to make enough toys in time for Christmas. Mr. Possible was like, oh, not for the Mr. Men. So Little Miss Magic helped speed up the toy making process twice, of course, using magic. And they were eventually to make enough toys to, like, save Christmas. But the Knights of Misery Land were trying to find their way back to Misery Land, and they ended up getting lost, and they ended up back at Father Christmas's workshop. Father Christmas greeted them, saying, Oh, I see you changed your ways, and giving the presents back. And then the Knights just looked at each other and just kind of shrugged, and said, Happy Christmas to Father Christmas, so... Maybe they changed? I don't know, it hasn't really been explained that well, but yeah, that's what happened. So after that incident, Mr. Clever and Little Miss Star, of course, talk again with Mr. Chatterbox on the sofa, and all the Mr. Men and Little Miss gathered around the sofa to wish everybody, particularly the audience, a happy Christmas, and that was how the special ended. But yeah, that was the Mr. Men Christmas Rescue Special in a nutshell. And what do I think about it? I would say it's pretty decent, you know, it, it's harmless, you know, it gets the job done. However, um, I do, I do gotta say a couple things that, like, are, you know, kind of weird about this special. Uh, they're very few minor things, but, like, they're, they're kind of worth pointing out anyway. First things first is, um, the animation. Now, I know animation is not really meant to be a huge thing to, like, you know, criticize stuff about. Unless it's like Food Fight or stuff like that, then that, that stuff just fucking sucks. While I wouldn't say the animation of the special is the worst, there definitely are a lot of noticeable instances where you kind of notice that like, um, a lot of the animation is just reused, with the exception of, you know, the lip sync of course. Like, especially with like Mr. Clever and Little Miss Star at the desk of the news station, especially with like Mr. Clever's animations. I'll, I'll show you all, all the examples of this reused animation happening. Good morning, and welcome to the Mr. Land Breakfast Show. I'm Mr. Clever. Come in, Mr. Snow. Hmm. I wonder what evil deed the Queen is planning. Never mind. It will take more than three bad nights to spoil our Christmas. Let's get an update from Father Christmas's workshop. That's what I like. A happy ending. Thanks to the Mr. Men. Any comment from Mr. Chatterbox? Now, I know there are a few other reused animation notices, most particularly with um, Mr. Chatterbox on the sofa and the Queen of Misery lands, but, you know, the Mr. Clever one's kind of the most noticeable one, so not too many, like, you know, repeated animations, um, but 
yeah, just something interesting to point out to you guys. For those of you who especially have watched this and didn't even notice it before until now. Another thing interesting to talk about would be the plot of the special. Now, I didn't mention this before, but this special was like 12 minutes long. And normally a lot of Christmas specials are normally either half an hour long or an hour long. So, yeah, I would say this is like um pretty short compared to what most Christmas specials would be. And judging from the plots, you know, the fact that the Queen of Misery Land is trying to destroy Christmas, uh, I feel like that would have worked a little bit better if it was like half an hour long. And speaking of the Queen, Queen of Misery Land, I kind of think she was sort of an underused character throughout um, the special. Um, first of all, we never really knew what happened to her at the very end. We didn't know if she was punished for what she did or maybe she had a change of heart like the Cane of Misery Land did in the Little Miss Sh Sunshine book. We, we never really knew what happened to her. Like, I would have liked that to be explained, but then again, the special was like 12 minutes long, and keep in mind, you know, the demographic for the Mr. Man characters are mostly younger children, so... Yeah, I'm not that surprised, but it, it would have been at least been interesting, you know? The voice acting, I would say, is definitely one of the big positives of this special. I definitely liked uh, the voices for the special. Now, there were only two voice actors for this special. Uh, David Shaw Parker, who did all the male voices, and Jill Schilling, who did all the female voices. Both of those actors would later return for another Mr. Men special a year later, under the name the Mr. Men ABC Hunt, or Alphabet Hunt, whatever it's called. Both of those actors came back for that special as well. However, after the Alphabet's Hunt special, uh, David Shaw Parker didn't come back for any future Mr. Men properties. However, Jill Schilling did return to be the female voice actress for the Mr. Men Little Miss TV show that came out in 1995, alongside Gordon Peters, who did the male voices for that show. It was interesting, like, the voices that she did in this special compared to the Mr. Men Little Miss TV series, the only one that I've noticed that, like, has you know, a very similar sound to it from both versions would be her voice for Little Miss Star. If you if you compare the voices of Little Miss Star from, like, The Christmas Rescue and The Mr. Men and Little Miss TV Show, they're almost pretty similar. Uh, I'll, I'll show you some examples. And I'm Little Miss Star, glamorous personality of stage, screen, and radio. I really don't care what I eat. Let's put on the TV, Mr. Dizzy, and see if my plan has worked. By the way, you'd find it easier to cook eggs in a frying pan. And yeah, I think that's pretty much all I gotta say about the Mr. Men Christmas Rescue. But also another thing to keep in mind, um, it was never directly called the Christmas, the Christmas Rescue within the special. Like, the title at the very end of the intro was simply just Mr. Men Little Misses, which... I'm assuming this was meant to be a pilot to the Mr. Men Little Miss TV series from 1995, but that's a bit of a stretch. I could be wrong. But the animation is very similar. Um, Jill Schilling is in both projects, so... You know, it's a possibility. So for any of you guys who have never seen the Mr. Men Christmas Rescue special and have actually wanted to give it a watch yourself, the entire thing is available on YouTube, so if you want a quick little dose of Christmas, you know, before Christmas is officially over, I would say definitely give this a watch. You know, the story is, you know, pretty good. It, it does what it does, despite the 12 minute long runtime. Uh, the voice acting is really good. Animation can be, you know, a bit cheap at times, but like, it's passable. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this little review that I did of the Mr. Man Christmas Rescue special. Now, I'm going to assume this might be longer than um, the Thomas one that I did last time. I, I don't know. I'll have to edit and figure that out myself. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this regardless. If you liked this episode, feel free to give it a like. Hit subscribe if you want to see more episodes of It Came From England and just mediocre plush content in general. Also, leave a comment down below letting me know what you think. That is about it. This is Tyler from the Character Workshop, wishing you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays. Next time, I'm going to be going back into the TARDIS for another meeting with the Doctor.